Do y'all want this figure? Then go on over to Chosen Prime where they can take good care of you, man. They got everything from Transformers, Power Rangers, Turtles, Marvel, DC, statues, whatever your heart desires. Follow that link down in the description and you can buy this Transformer as well. So just tell them that Deluxe sends you and you might actually get a virtual hug. Well, hey there, everybody. How y'all doing? Thanks for coming back as always. I appreciate it. I really hope you're having a wonderful day or night. And welcome back to my channel. As always, I'm Deluxe. All right, let's do another Transformer review. Yeah. All right, today I'll be taking a look at X Transbots. Uh, this is uh, Jokund. Jo Jokund. J O C U N D. Jokund. I think it is. It's their group. Part of the Protective Bots. Going to form a defense order. Awesome saucer. There's the box art. Looks pretty good. Is it in a swamp or something? I don't know. Weird place to put a uh, groove in, but it's a swamp, I guess. There you go. There's the side. And then there's this. If you want to read that, pause for the calls. And then you got the back. You got a lot of nice little tech spec. That is awesome. If you want to pause for the calls, read that if you can read it. Pretty sweet. Got this guy in from Chosen Prime today, and I'm really excited to get this guy. Uh, so far, um, I'm liking better than uh, Fuzz especially the transformation, but uh, yeah, pretty cool. So let's just get right to the review. Uh, oh, first things first, if you like this kind of video, please hit that like button. It really helps out the channel. You know, it shows the uh, YouTube gods, you know, that you actually like this stuff, and I really appreciate that. But yeah, let's get right to the review. That's what you came for. Yeah. And first things first, as always, let's take a quick look at what he comes with. All right, he comes with his um, leg cannons and then also his cannons for his bike mode, the alt mode. No paint. Just some nice sculpt work in there. Looks pretty good. Like I said, you got a little slot in there. It's going to tab into there, and I'll show you all that in a minute. You get two of those. You do get his little blaster. Now, this is painted all silver. Looks very nice. Not a whole lot of sculpt work in there. But little pegs in right there. You'll see in the hand just like a normal masterpiece does. Then he comes with three separate head sculpts. Two of them are kind of like a, just a staring at you, you know, kind of a judging you or something maybe. But very nicely painted. You got the nice uh, peach. Right there for the face, you got the gold goggles, very nice. And you got the hood, that's not painted or anything like that, but very nice. Got the nice little chin, little chin thing right there. Then you got another one, once again, just basically, you know, a, hmm, what are you doing over there, fella? But once again, nice to paint, I like that. And then you get a your little, uh, uh, you know, grr, kind of a screaming maybe, not screaming, but kind of a grr one. So, oh, what are you doing over here? Yeah, nicely painted once again. And you do get a nice little card. There you go. And on the back, same, same thing that says on the back of the box. You can pause that if you want to. Men make war to get attention. All killing is an expression of self-hate. All right. You do get instructions. Very nicely done. Pretty good. Pretty easy to follow. Not too bad. And this is pretty cool. You get like a, a preview box. You know, they got a bunch of, uh, they put out a bunch of, uh, you know, uh, stuff for the new stuff coming out and everything. Some renders. So you get uh, what they got coming up. Well, that's pretty cool. You know, if you like to keep up to date what they got coming out. So very nice. They got a lot of stuff coming out. So there you go. All right. Well, that is all he comes with. And there is X Transpros Groove in his alt mode. And man, it looks like he just, you know, jumped straight out of chips. Remember Chips, the uh, 70s, you know, uh, kind of San Francisco cops thing. But yeah, that motorcycle definitely reminds me of Chips. But there you go. It is a very nice. You got the nice translucent blue. Got some stuff on there. Love that nice translucent blue little window right there. Translucent for the headlights. Nice kind of a orangish kind of paint right here and right there. All this is really painted nicely. All this right here is paint. All this stuff right here, nicely painted. You got the silver for the kind of the shocks paint right there and rubber tires that is awesome got some black paint right here and right there nice silver for the engine and for the uh, foot uh, holder or foot uh not a pedal i guess but you know whatever you know what i'm talking about it's there but nicely done once again that's paint you got the seat now that's not painted nice plastic then you got the gauges in here looks very nice all painted too nice black and red and blue silver right there silver for the brakes and for the Handlebars right there. Uh, the black is just plastic. And you got the guns. They just peg in. Not really a tight fit. They're kind of loose, but they're there. And you got the nice police right there. Silver paint right here. Once again, silver. You got the nice exhaust. 
connecting everything. It looks really good. Nice gold paint running here. Now you do see the fist. I'll show you that in a minute. Nice uh, brake lights. Love that. Nicely painted red. You got some red up here. Once again, really nicely painted. Black paint right there. Then you got the star over here. Looks good. 80. Nice. Silver. Tons of silver paint right there. And underneath, like I said, you do see the hands. Nice gold paint right there. You do see the half of the face. You uh, kind of it opens up and I'll show you that in transformation. But there you go. Once again, rubber thing. See, they do not stay on that well. So just be mindful of that. There you go. Now this does turn a little bit and it does go up a little bit too as well. But that one, they do, does roll just fine. Very nice. And it doesn't have a kickstand. It's mainly, you know, the, the, uh, these parts right here, the foot pedals, they, uh, act as kickstands. So you can do that right there. Yeah, that, that, yeah, that doesn't stay on that well, but there you go. I like it. I think it looks good. I like the bike mode. It looks really nice. So there you go. That is Groove in his alt mode. Real quick, there he is next to the alternator hot rod and you got a uh, Siege Red Alert just for some scale reference. Oh, he's, scale's nice with MP. There's, like I said, that's a chug right there. So scale. And crap gun, some crappy toilet paper, some ibuprofen, and some Care Bears for more scale. All right, let's see if I can transform this fella. Oh, first things first, I forgot to mention you can move the handlebars up and down if you want to. All right. So what you're going to do, you're going to need a spudger for some of the transformation. You're going to see there's this little spot right here. You got to retract this. Let's see if I can, right there, because it connects right there. So you just re do that, like that, and you're going to do the other one, the same thing, and do that. All right. Then what you want to do is you want to lift this up right here, and you're going to separate. Well, first thing first, no. I'm going to take that back. You're going to untab this, untab this, then you want to untab this right here. Then you want to extend. Let's see if I can try to extend it. All right, like that. Extend the legs like that. Then you want to separate. And there's a quite a few separation points or uh, tabbing points. See all these right here? They go into there. The wheels tab into each other. They tab in right up here. So quite a few, uh, you know, tabbing points right there. And then you're going to look like that. All right. Then you want to take the saddlebags, I guess what they're called. You want to flip that down like that. Then you can come and move this down if you want to. Now, I want to take this and you just want to pull it up like this. You want to take this part right here. Then you want to take this part right here and you want to move it on a slider. Now, you come around. You want to tab this piece right here, right there, in that little slot right there. So I'll just move that down and then just try to close. See if I can move it up some more. Yeah, and you want to tab it in right there and then move that up like that. You want to come around, you may have to get a spudger and you're going to have to get the toe out. It is in there pretty good. Yeah, that's gonna that's gonna be a pain in the butt to get out. There we go. Okay, flip that out, and then flip that toe out, and there you go. That is the bottom foot right there. Then you want to take this part right here. It's on a spring kind of mechanism. Well, here first you want to take this piece right here, untab that, fold it like this, and then slide it in there like that. Then you can take this part right here, untab it. See there's right here, it's tabbed in right there. So uh, the wheel part is tabbed in right there. And then you can, after that, like I said, it is on a little spring thing. You can move it around like that. 
it's gonna look like that you must curve that down and there you go that is almost halfway probably done with the uh, leg and foot and everything like that all right let's try to do the other leg okay what you want to do like i said you want to take this down move it around like that extend this get this out right here you may have to get a little spudger move that right there like i said you're going to tab that into there so move that up like that and close that down there you go there's that then you want to come around once again you want to try to get the toe out yeah. it is in there pretty good Let's see if i can get it out there we go it's a tight fit so be careful okay got that and once again you want to take this all the way around like that then you want to come around and that was already untabbed it was supposed to have been tabbed like this but it untabbed already so i did it all right there you go and then you want to push this in together like that for the crotch and there you go that is the feet and legs for you right there real quick i missed a spot i looked at the instructions i forgot you have to take there you have to get a spudger for this there's a little tab that's going to connect the crotch area so you need to I need to open that back up and you're going to have to flip out this if I can get it. I may have to do it off camera. I'll be right back. All right. So I was able to get in there. Like I said, this is a little piece right here that's going to connect. It goes up into the crotch area. So like I said, you may have to get something to get that out and that's going to solidify the crotch area. Forgot about that part. Sorry about that. Okay. Um, after that, then you want to move these out of the way, the little foot pedal things. And you can come out. You're going to flip this around like that and do the same thing for this side flip this around flip that out then you want to take so you're going to unpeg like so that's pegged right there so it is pegged in right here and it's also pegged in right there in that side right there the arms are so what you want to do is you want to unpeg and then unpeg right here so you can bring the arms out See how that pegged right there? There's a little peg right there, right there, and it pegs into there, and also pegs into there. So what you want to do is just kind of lift up right there, and then lift up right here off the gas tank. And you're probably going to scratch up. There's everything's painted, but it's probably going to scratch up during transformation. Just, that's what happens whenever you got a lot of paint. So you just got to kind of maneuver that out like that so you can move out the arms like that now with the arms what you want to do is you want to take the fist do that then you want to extend like that and then turn and come back around do the same thing do that Come on, Kelly. <laughs> the thing's in there tight. Jesus. All right, switch that around and see if I can get it better. There we go. Golly. All right. And that is the arms and everything. You'll just bend like that. And bend like that. All right, so you want to lift this up. So what you want to do is... You want to take, move that in right there, move this down, then collapse that, and then you can move that in, and that will give you like that. I'm going to move that arm like that. All right, and come back around. Like I said, move this down like that. Make sure the motor is in right there. Move this piece right here inside like that, and then you can collapse that in there like that and then just say i've already got some chipping on mine turn that around uh, to get it right okay then you can move this down these down right here and you can flip the head over like that to give you the 
head thing. So he's kind of I'm gonna extend the legs. They will snap. I didn't snap them. So there you go. All right. So that's how you do that right there. Should look like something like that. You want to turn the hands all around too as well. I missed that part. I'll do that. Okay. Now with the back. So what you want to do is you want to turn this right here. You want to turn this part 180 like that. Just move these out of the way for right now because you're going to flip those up a little bit later to like up there. But, okay. Then you want to take this piece right here. You want to untab it right here and then start pushing it up like that. Make sure it doesn't get caught up in there like that. Now, you can have it two ways. You can have it like we just had it where you can bring it down and you can, you know, display it like that or you can do it like this. So yeah, you would go from here, you would do this and then just slide it up to there and it'll lock that into like there. So you can have it like that. So you have two ways, however way you want. So then you want to untab or just move this around up to there. Do the same thing up to there. Then you can move these uh, handlebars however you want to. They are movable. And then what you want to do is you want to take this tab right here. It's going to tab into the back of his neck. And when you're transforming it back to um, or to alt mode, that is a very tight fit. So you may have to get a sponger and try to get it out. You know, another. So let me see if I can get this tabbed into. It's going to let me tab it in there. So it's a, there we go. So tab that in there like that. And then you can move the handlebars like that. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you transform X Transbot's groove. Basically, how you do it. Let me clean them up a little bit, and I'll be right back. All right, real quick, I'm going to show you how the weapons go. Like I said, it's just a normal, you know, masterpiece. You just plug it into the little slot that he has in his hand. I'll show you that. It's just a little slot right in there, and that's easy. Really nicely done. And then you got the legs. You can uh, place the uh, cannons on the legs. Now, these are a lot. They stay better on this way than they do alt mode. So that's good. So you have that option, too. You don't have to have them on there, but that is pretty cool. So that is how you use his weapons and uh, holding his gun. And also, I want to show you real quick. Like I said, if you don't want to do have the piston sticking up there, like I, said, I showed you, you can just take this, extend it down, close that up like that. Move that down, then you want it to extend this one as well. And let's see if I can get it down. All right, like that. And then you want to move that around. And you just want to tab it in like you would the motorcycle part. And it's right there. And then you can have it. And you don't have the uh, piston sticking up or anything like that. But you do have a little bigger backpack it is so but you have two options like i said move the handlebars however you want to you can have them moving like that so just want to show you the different options you can have for the back wheel all right let's take a quick look at groove and i think it looks pretty good not bad all right there was another head sculpt that's the one he comes with kind of like a Looks like he's pouting a little bit like a mm, little duck face going on but not so painting for the peach and you got the gold glasses Looks really nice. Look good. All this is painted. Now, die cast, it does have a great weight to it. All this right here is die cast. Uh, this part up here, die cast. Uh, the, the elbows might be die cast. I don't know for sure, but there is a lot of die cast weight on the bottom, so it gives them a good weight. So that's good. The toes are die cast. Very nice. All right. Paint wise, nice paint. Tons of paint. The gold is painted, all that. All this is painted. The tan is painted. Now, I do have some little. Marks already right there, uh, a little bit right here, and then there's a mark right there, a little chipping in there, some areas. Not a whole lot, not too bad. You know, I think when I when you transform it back and forth, you may gonna start chipping it, but just be careful. I love love how the uh, the pipes, you know, go together. Looks pretty cool. Yeah, you, know, you got the nice silver paint right here, red paint. You got the police back there, and you got all this. 
Uh, so you do have an option. Like I showed you, you can change it however you want to. And that's pretty cool. But yeah, very nice. All right, so far as articulation. So look down a little bit, not much. The chin gets in the way up a little bit. Now this is where it comes into the park. See, there's a, when you, you can turn it and that's about it. When you start turning it a little further, it pops off. That's how you change off the head. That little spot right here, it, you know, it kind of gets in the way. And you might get lifted up a little bit and you can turn it. So if you lift a little bit, he can, you know, have a little neck area. You'll turn it, you can turn it more. But that's how you switch out the head. You just pop it off real quick to a little mushroom thing. So, yeah. So if you put it down a little further, you can only go about that far. So a little limited on the head uh, thing. All right. So for the arm, you can go up to there, 90 degrees. Go all the way around. Very nice. You do have mm, a little more than 90 degrees, just about 90 degrees for the elbow bend. So could have been a little better. I think they could have done a double elbow and could have got you some better range for that. You do have a bicep swivel. Very nice. All right. And you do have a um, butterfly. So you got this and this also just because of transformation, you can get all the way out to there. You can use it. But I think, you know, just right there, that's pretty good right there. But you can use that for some dynamic poses. All right. So for the waist or for the uh, hands, you do got a swivel. Now you do have a booger picker right here. And it's kind of pointing like, ee, like that. And then you got these three on one pin. The thumb does not move. So kind of an old, uh, old school kind of MP thing going on, but very decent, you know, amount for the arm movement. So that's pretty good. All right, moving down, like I said, the weight, I mean, the chest, all that is painted gold. Got a nice little spot. You can put an Autobot symbol. He does have a waist swivel, very nice, and a very nice ab crunch. So he can see his toes. So very nice. All right, so he can do the, let's move this out of the way. Van Dam all day, every day. Very nice. He can kick up a lot and then he kick back eh, a little bit. This gets in the way, but a little back back that far. All right. Now he does have a thigh swivel. It is a little tight. Be careful. But like I said, like I said, I love that how the pipe goes through it and it just connects right there. So that is good. All right. Knee bend. Um, a little less than 90 degrees. Kind of wish it would have been a little more, but it's not too terrible. Now this one is pretty good. This knee right here, it may be just on my copy. It is really tight. So just be wary of that if you might have a tight one. So that one is really tight for me. All right. So you don't have a, a, a toe tilt down or up. You do have a nice rocker. Really good. Now you do have the, to oh, I guess you do have a toe tilt down, but not the whole foot. So you don't have a foot down or anything like that. And you got this. This will move around as well. So that's good. Once again, that is the back. You can clean up if you want to. And here's the back right there. You do got some nice red paint, red paint right here, red paint. You see all the paint, very nice gold. All this is, so you got some scratching on mine right there. So that's, a, that's a bummer. That's a real bummer. But there you go. That is the sculpt work and articulation. Oh, you can look at nice, the gauges, anything like that. That's good. Like I said, you can move the handlebars however you want to so there you go that is groove all right and there he is next to their fuzz or their streetwise and uh pretty good yeah a little uh you know fuzz a little taller than what he is on the head part now he is about a little taller with that up there but yeah and i'm never transforming him until uh to alt mode until i get all of them so i can combine them because that was a pain in the ass to transform but i liked him all right so there he goes some scale and real quick, there he is next to MP Megatron and Optimus Prime, 36 and 44. Then you got one of the famous toys, uh, Superion or Aerial Bots. Then you got uh, Power Glide, Mirage, one of the MP uh, Sideswipe, and then you got Ollie down there. Just for a little scale reference. You can tell famous toys is a whole lot bigger. So there you go, scale. And crappy gunnicks, some crappy toilet paper, some ibuprofen, some Care Bears, and squeaks for more scale.
All right, folks, let's talk about some ex transbots Joe Kund. Or their Groove. Come on now. You know who it is. It's Groove. Um, overall, I like him. He's really good. A lot better than Fuzz. Uh, Fuzz is pretty good, but just, you know, just the transformation, you know, made it unbearable. But this one is good. Uh, alt mode, I really like. I love the motorcycle. Like I said, it looks like it just jumped off the screen from chips. Really like that. I like the motorcycle mode. Only issues I really have with the motorcycle is the weapons. They don't stay on that well, but that's just, uh, that might be just my copy. Your copy might be fine. But overall, I really like the uh, motorcycle mode. It's really good. Transformation. I like the transformation. It's not too easy, but it's not too hard. Like Fuzz was just unbearable. I just I couldn't stand it. But for him, I liked it. It was fun. You know, it's you know not too hard. Uh, little bits and pieces here you have to be careful with. Um, you know, with the the uh, ankles, just be careful. It's on a like a little small hinge. So further down the line, you don't want to bend that or anything like that. But uh, other than that, transformation was really fun. I liked it. I had a great time. It's one of those satisfying uh, transformation. So it was really fun. I liked it. The bot mode, I like. You know, it's 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 groove. I love the little details. I forgot to say anything about it. It's got that little 80 right in here that you saw on the uh, motorcycle. So you got business pieces. You know, it's really nicely done. Now, paint. Paint, I love. It's really nice. I love that it's got a lot of paint on there. Now, it will start chipping. Like I've showed you some areas, mine have chipped already. So during transformation, you may chip yours. So, you know, it's, it. yeah, it kind of sucks, but the paint looks good. It's just some areas, you know, are kind of going to start chipping on you and everything. Um, articulation. You know, the head articulation is weird. I, I don't, I've never had one with a mushroom peg where you take the head off. That's weird. That's the first time I've seen that on a masterpiece uh, that I can remember. There may have been some back then, but I don't remember them having that. So it's kind of weird, but a little limited on the um, head or, you know, swivel, you know, especially if you press it all the way down, it just goes a little area. Now you can lift it up a little bit, you know, fake it till you make it kind of thing. But um, kind of wish it had a little better head articulation. Uh, I do like that they give us, you know, three different head sculpts, but three of them are really almost the same. They're just, you know, kind of a, like that. So, you know, it's pretty cool they gave us that option. I do like the screaming one or the grr kind of one, uh, but that's pretty cool. I do like the weapons, you know, except for, uh, you know, alt mode, but uh, they're pretty good uh, with uh, staying on on bot mode. So I do like the accessories. They're pretty cool. Yeah, like articulation, you know, it's got some decent, you know, you got the waist swivel, you do got an ab crunch. Um, you know, the knee bend could have been a little better. Uh, tolerances, that's the only uh, tolerances I have issues with is the knees. Just be careful. Mine had really tight. Um, but yeah, overall, the articulation is fine. You know, it could be a little better. I do like that you had the nice uh, butterfly, uh, but it's it's okay. You know, it, it gets you everything you need. You can get some dynamic poses, have some great time taking pictures. So I like that. Uh, the sculpt work is really nice. Like I said, I love the the uh, uh, tube that goes up in there, and that really looks nice. You know, the police, the decos, and all that looks good. Uh, the you know it does have some um, a die cast in it, so it's got a nice weight to it. So yeah, overall, really good. Really like this one. I hope the rest of them are like this one. I, I really do because this was a fun, fun transformer and fun transformation, and it looks good. And you do have the option with the tire. That's pretty cool. You can have it any way you want to. So overall, a lot of small little details, you know, the uh, gauges up there look really good too. So overall, very nice. I highly recommend this one. All right, what's up, everybody? Hey, I'm Groove. Hey, it's Groove, everybody. Everybody, look, it's Groove. Hey, so cool. Hey, what's up, chicken? How you doing? I'm good. I'm good. Missed you a lot, man. How you been? Pretty good. Got Alpha Bravo over there. What's up, Alpha Bravo? Man, I remember that one time you were in the Aerial Bots? Man, you were pretty cool back then. But I'm pretty cool now. No, you're just a drunk now. Oh, Oh yeah, that is that is true. I, I do, but uh, I would love if they made a masterpiece scale of you, man. That would be so cool. Yeah, that would be. All right, good job. All right, what's up, Dirtfire? Hey, what's up, man? How you doing? Just sitting back here, just relaxing. All right, good job. I like you. You got some nice paint on you. Yeah, I do. I really do. I got. I'm pretty snazzy. Pretty snazzy. All right. Oh, and also. Um, this part right here, I think I had this up like this most of the time. It's supposed to be down. I mean, you can have it any way you want to. It's your transformer, uh, but it's supposed to be down. How it's supposed to like that. All right. Well, that was my review over uh, Groove from X Transbots. Uh, I guess I'll um, hit me with some like, shares, prayers, and care bears. Go ahead and hit that sub button for me if you don't mind. It really helps out the channel. It really does. I pr you know, I really appreciate that. And hit me on the comments. Tell me with all the review. Is anybody in on this set? I definitely am, and I think I'm in on MMC as well. So, uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you in the next Transform review. And as always, be good to yourself. Hail X Transbots. And good night, folks. Yeah, looks pretty good. This was fun. I like this one.